So I'm here with Dustin, who Hi. is one of the experts on the Volkswagen ID Buzz. We have been waiting for this for so long. I can only imagine that Volkswagen decided to build it because they got tired of answering the questions oh, about when is it going to come to market. So let's talk about what we see on the outside first. Um, and I want to talk about the batteries yeah. because that's the big question. Uh, everybody has is, is this electric car really going to fit my lifestyle? But where are the batteries? Let's start with that. All right, well, it, absolutely right. We've been waiting to build this car for a while and actually because it's a battery car is the reason we could bring this thing back to life because the battery is underneath the floor and the motor is in between the rear wheels, just kind of like this one was here, the classic uh, VW bus. So the, the battery pack is in the centermost lowest part of the vehicle. So you're gonna see when we're in, in for the ride, it's just very planted, very quiet, very um, very pleasant driving experience too. Uh, and this is built on our MEB platform. So you know our other- What does MEB mean? That means our modular electric toolkit is what we call okay. it. That's uh, kind of fancy, but it's just our electric platform. You know, a lot of people say skateboard design and that's really what it is. So it's battery pack underneath the middle of the car and motor in between the rear wheels or potentially in the, between the, the front and the rear too for all wheel drive variants, which this will also come in an all wheel drive variant as well. It will be all wheel drive, yay. <laughs> so the the wheels are placed pretty wide at the at the, at the front and the end of the corners yep. of the car and they're big. Yeah. These are 20s here, so they're a really, uh, a, you know, a really big wheel. Uh, but I think what you'll see in here is because of the footprint of the car and the size of it, long wheelbase, uh, is that it actually rides quite well, even with those big wheels on it. Yeah. Well, I always think of the big wheels as sporty, but these really give you capability Absolutely. and comfort. And style, too. Let's be and honest. And style. Yeah. So there's another thing that you guys put on all your SUVs as well, and that is this. Pop open that door. Yeah, so the sliding doors, sliding yay. Door. Yeah, so why why do sliding doors rather than like the coach doors or just normal doors? Well, I think here, you know, this really makes sense for a van, which is what the ID Buzz is. It's very easy to get in and out. You also see a, a step up here, so it's easy just to enter the car. You have a grab handle as well. Uh, and then just tons of space. This is about utilitary, you know, it's a lot of utility in this car. So um, it's to make it uh, very easy to own. If you have pets and family and other folks, you can pile a ton of folks in here. Another thing I want you to show me though, is this door handle. How does this door handle it's work? Just a, a, there's a squeeze here that you can squeeze in or there's a button inside. If I push this button, uh, the door will close here. Now, something you notice on the exterior of the car too, this is what we call energetic orange. That's the name of the color and always with a bi-colored white roof. So really harkens back to it's the classic a, uh, VW bus and um, you know, is instantly recognizable. And I love that this, there's no moving parts on the door handle, so that means no pinched fingers. Exactly. <laughs> I love it. Let's walk around to the front of the car. Would you show us the frunk? Sure. <laughs> Look at this. So the ID, the Volkswagen uh, emblem actually pops out. And what is in the frunk? So. Yeah. As storage? See, Do we yeah, have storage in here? No storage up here. You see there's not a lot of space in here, really just windshield washer solvent uh, to be able to put in there. Uh, but uh, yeah, it just comes down like so. And a few other mechanical things yeah. and probably some uh, crash resistance exactly. <laughs> technology. Exactly. But how cool is that? That's where you put in your windshield washer fluid. Yeah. Um, Another thing that you'll see are the ID4 lights that similar. we have on the, similar to the ID4 lights yeah, you have that the are light bar through similar here. to the ID4, exactly. yeah. And, but a unique lower front grill. And I see a lot of cameras here. Mm -hmm. To help with the, the assisted driving system. Assisted driving system. Yep. Let's walk around to the back and show me the cargo area. Okay, great. And is this just a, just, just pops pop up? Just like that. Oh. There, there we go. go. Oh yeah, there it now, is. This one has a European charger in it now, but of course the American car will have a, 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 a CCS2 port. So this would be for level two and level three. You use both of those, Exactly. Correct? So yeah. this will be a J1772 and that'll be for uh, the DC uh -huh. charging there. Gotcha. See, it has a very flat back area here. Some also neat little details. That the ID bus <gasps> oh, right look at there. this. That nice little With Easter the egg umbrella. there. How clever is that? Yeah, very flat. You see park distance sensors down there. This is a power lift gate. 
And here's everything in here. Tons of cargo room, actually. And the car that we're going to get in the U.S. is actually going to be a slightly longer than this. So even more cargo area. Uh -huh. And we'll have an available third row of seats as well. Um, in here, you see some of this nice detailing in, ter in terms of color match trim. And then more little Easter eggs like the buzz right in there. Uh, you've got things uh, like a hanger there if you want to hang stuff, or you've got your 12-volt adapter to, to bring power back. And here. I see there are USB ports in the uh, in the exactly. little cubbies there. You which can start to see how the third, third row, row will work in here. Yeah. You know? So you'll have USBs, and it's right with the passenger in that area, so it's not like you have cords running all over the place. So it'll be nice yeah. and kind of tidy back here. Neat. Very neat, nice and neat. There. A lot of cargo space. This is a very low to the ground uh, cargo area. Very so, I mean, I can slide right in here. Tailgating. Great for little kids. Oh, totally. Diaper changing. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to sit next to you. Dog, you know, easy to load things in. Easy for my, my dog would not have a problem exactly. climbing in here. I like the, uh, so, sometimes the, the bigger one, you know, like the, the Atlas, they're taller and they have a nice tall cargo area, but it's harder for short people. You lift <laughs> stuff into it where this is going to yes. be very easy. This will yep. be nice. This will be nice. Should we take a ride? Let's do it. Let's take a ride. Yep. So now we are in the ID Buzz. And Mark's driving, and Dustin's back here to give us uh, yep. more information. And we're going to take a little spin sort of around the block. Um, 200 horsepower, roughly. Yeah, about 201. So you're right on, right on track, 150 kilowatt motor. Uh -huh. uh, this one has the rear motor, but like I said, we'll also uh, offer a dual motor variant with uh -huh. all-wheel drive. So very similar setup to the other MEP vehicles, just like the ID4. So Mark, you have to know, is a very esteemed performance driver. So hold on to your hats. <laughs> but you get a, you know, you get a, a good view with Mark driving and how differently this car drives than the classic bus. Uh, this, oh yeah. This has got lots of power. It's very smooth, very usable. Uh, and really embodies everything that this car has meant to people over many years. Uh, and now it can do it with zero emissions. And it's a very important car for us. So one key difference between this and ID4 is on ID4, the, the rotary control for the modes. Right, I noticed that's a different gear selector. So the gear selector's on the console. Is it a, do you push it? Just no, twist it the same way. Twist, twist it the same, the same way, way. So okay. Twist, twist that way for reverse, that way for D or Gotcha. So and have you been driving in D or B? I'm currently in B, so when, when okay. I lift off it will slow down. Definitely. Yeah, and you know, it's funny, you, you feel that. Um, I think that will be the, uh, the learning curve for, for many of us to uh, make sure that that's comfortable for all of our passengers. <laughs> learning to drive in B mode. Yeah, I think, well I think, you know, one of the thinkings behind us having a sort of a, a coast down um, action, as it were, is when you drive a regular ICE car, you always coast to a stop. Um, so in this car, in D mode, it's, it's more of a coast down rather than a sort of one pedal type of approach. Yeah, it, and there's not a, some car, some EVs have the, all the different levels of regen and Volkswagen decided not to do that. Yeah, it's much easier, you know, getting into an ID vehicle is, is the transition from an ICE to an ID is very simple. Because if you just put it in drive mode and you get into it and you've never driven a, a, an EV before, it would be very familiar. Uh, you know, there's nothing in here that's daunting in terms of, oh, geez, in terms of getting an EV, this is tough. And we've really thought about that through the entire offer structure of all the products that we've brought to market. So in thinking of the, the, the price point in terms of accessibility to get somebody into a car that's more affordable than some of the other EVs that are on the market, the range, and thirdly, charging too. Uh, with ID4, for example, it comes with three years of charging included with the vehicle, so you can drive across the country. So it's interesting how you have, it seems so flat in the front when you're looking at this bus from the outside, but on the inside, you really do see how broad the dashboard is. And then these beautiful details. I love this um, this wood. It's, it's Is it actual wood? Uh, it's a laminate. It's but a laminate, you know, it's yeah. It's got a really nice feel it's to really it. really pretty. I know, but it feels so smooth. That's why I thought. I expected it to feel textured, but it doesn't. Yeah, everything that you'll see in the car is we really try to work towards sustainability, even the seats and everything else. 
Um, so, you know, these, the materials in the seats, for example, this is leather out in the cloth material. Mm -hmm. uh, so we really try to be as sustainable as possible. And I noticed there's a USB port here in the door. Exactly. We don't That's want so ports clever. going across uh, all over the place. So, you know, that's yeah. very easy for the driver and the passenger. The driver has two USB ports and then also wireless charging where Mark has his phone. And then mm -hmm. in your door, you have USB. It drives so beautifully. It is not slow. It's a it's very very no. Quick. Check this you can out. See around this corner that it's planted, and that's because the battery pack in the floor, lowest uh, point of the vehicle, uh, the heaviest component, really gives the car a very planted feel. This is great. It feels really nice. I will say the open, the you know feels very open and airy in here, and so you don't feel. Uh, not claustrophobic. Not claustrophobic. claustrophobic. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Is there going to be a sunroof at some you point? Know, in do terms you think? of the offer structure, we don't have all of that set yet. Obviously, this one doesn't have it. Yeah. Uh, there's some things with sunroofs that we've got to think about in terms of um, efficiency. Uh, you know, when we start to think about uh, the weight of a sunroof, and even as we open the sunroof, you start to lose some of your uh, aerodynamics. aerodynamics. So yeah. um, that'll be something that you know we're, we're going to try to think of all kinds of cool things that we can bring the bus over the years that it's in the market. I love the uh, sunroof in the ID4. Yeah, it's, it's really, well, the really thing about nice. That is, that's interesting. It doesn't open, but it gives a great greenhouse in that car. Really, right, you know, right. It brings in a lot of. I mean, that car needs it because it's smaller. So some of the details that we were talking about. This is the. This is the uh, electric charger phone charge pad. You just stick your phone in there, and there are the USB ports. There's the stop start button, but like, you don't uh, need it. it. <laughs> Mark forgot his phone. This is the cup holder right here. It just pops down. And then we're gonna hop in the rear seat. Little stuff shelf there, that's where I stuck my phone. The USB port right there in the door. And then here in the rear seat, this is the tray. So it just pops up like this, and that's with this button, and it's flat. How nice is that? And there's a little place to put your phone and then you can just put it down when you're done. That's really nice. And then let's hop in here. So this is this uh, center console. It has the map of the world on the side of it. How cool is that? You can see that map of the world. And this whole center console removes so you can actually you can just take it out just like that. And then you have the space here. Oh, those um, latches lay flat too. But you have a space there, so if you wanted to put something else there or just leave it open if you don't really need it, how nice is that? It's been so fun taking a ride in the Volkswagen ID Buzz. We can't wait for this to come to market, but I can't wait for more news from Volkswagen on this amazing van. It's at least two years before it comes to market, but it can't be here soon enough.